Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you around my bathroom. So let's just get started. So this is the main bathroom. Um, mainly two of us, but kind of three of us. I live in a house with four people, basically. Three of us use this bathroom, mainly two of us is things are in here um it's quite a big bathroom so i'll just turn this around and show you it's quite big um there's a lot of storage space as you can see um and i am going to show you what is mine so just as a disclaimer like last time in the um, zero waste kitchen tour if you see anything um, around and in the background that you think that's a bit strange, she didn't show us that, or that's not very zero waste, or that's not actually a vegan product, um, what I'm not showing you is not mine. So that belongs to other people because this is a shared house um, and we don't all have the same values and belief systems. So I'm just going to show you what's mine. The rest of it, just ignore it. So as we walk in and on the left there's this bookshelf that has been used as a bathroom caddy. Um, this shelf is mine. As you can see I have a lot of my own homemade products. Um, let's start in the basket. So in here I've got some magnesium oil spray. I got this ages and ages ago, probably a year or more ago. Um, it's basically like Epsom salts but you spray it on your body and it gets absorbed from your skin. Um, really great if you have aches and pains. Next I have this little bottle of um, Castile soap which I um, have used up loads and I just refill it from a much larger container. Um, this is I've kept this little bottle because it's great for travel if I need it um, and also it's just a nice small bottle to have in the bathroom here. The other large bottle is with the laundry stuff downstairs because I use it to wash my clothes and my linens and things like that. Um, this I use after I've used um, some oil sometimes because um, I don't want a layer of oil on my skin so if I have used this which is just some um, sweet almond oil to remove my eye makeup mainly um, and to kind of break up my face makeup before I wash my face I will use um, about one to two drops of this because it's really potent and quite drying so only one to two drops to just get rid of the oil before I can wash my face with something more pH balancing. Down here I have a couple of um, face masks that I'm almost finished using. I've had this one for a couple of years, honestly. Um, I just really like it. It's super expensive. Um, it was a gift, um, but I really like it. And I've got about one, maybe one, like half a go left in it that I've just kept here. I just, I really need to just use it and chuck it out, but I really enjoyed this. Um, and then I've got this face mask from Morley Rituals, which is incredible. It smells amazing. It is their um, radiance mask and exfoliant. And it just smells like incense and Indian spices. And it's just delicious. And it really does. Um, I do notice a big difference in my skin after I've used it. Back here, like I said, I've got some sweet almond oil just for makeup removal. And then I've got um, a scrubbing face wash that I used. Um, I made it from oats and coffee grinds and it's a great exfoliant. It's quite harsh, so I only use it about once a week, but it is really great for getting all that dead skin off. You know, you know what an exfoliant does. It's my exfoliant, <laughs> that's what I made. It's a coffee exfoliant, it smells just like coffee. It's really great, but it is coffee. And so it may help in, with under eye bags and dark circles, I'm not sure. It might do. In this little bag I have got my um, bamboo toothbrush and my tongue scraper. I'll just show you. Yes, yeah, so in here I have my bamboo toothbrush with charcoal bristles and my um, tongue scraper. I keep it ziplocked in a bag. This is also my like travel bathroom bag that I'll just like put a couple of things in and take with me. Um, I keep it zipped in a bag because this bathroom does have a toilet in it and if you guys have seen those videos of um, how far toilet splashes go. Uh, I don't like to keep toothbrush out in the open in a bathroom that also has a toilet because short story, short fecal matter on tooth bristles is not what I want. So I keep them in a Ziploc bag there. Over here we have my mouthwash, which I do have a recipe for on, um, on this channel, which I will link up here. It will be right here. Um, 
that's really great. Love it. Um, you guys, I have had so many questions about where I get this bottle. Okay, this bottle was upcycled from an old drink or condiment of some sort like years and years and years ago. I would highly recommend you guys look in your pantry and your kitchen cupboards and see what you have in there that you can use up um, and use the bottle for. Just upcycle it from whatever you have in the house like these. These are all just like upcycled from other things. If you do particularly want one of these flip top bottles, you can get them on Amazon or in shops like TK Maxx. Um, but I would recommend just upcycling it from things you already have. Like this was um, this was vanilla extract. This was probably like peanut butter or something. Um, it, it just I just like to upcycle it. So that's where that's from. Here I have my toothpaste. It's very warm in England at the moment, so it's melted, but that's fine. It still works perfectly fine. Um, recipe is in the same video as recipe for the mouthwash. Then I have my deodorant. Lots of you guys have been asking for the recipe for this. It is coming very soon. Um, and then I have also this face wash, which I'm just experimenting with. I've been using this one for just a couple of days. Um, I like it, so I, yeah. I have lots of face wash recipes that I enjoy making all the time for like because my skin changes through the months. Um, I just kind of use what I'm what my skin needs currently. But this is my current face wash um, recipes. Lots of recipes for different face washes will be coming soon for different skin types. Then I also have this Sweet Lips lip scrub that I've just honestly I just found this that I had it for like years and years and years, uh, and I've never used it. Um, I'm just going to use it up and then probably upcycle the container to make my own or to make something else. I don't know. I'm just using that up at the moment. Then in here I've got a lighter for when I have um, baths. I can just light some candles. Okay, my camera just ran out of battery. Where was I? So, um, bobby pins to put my hair up when I wash my face. Sometimes I'll have an elastic band in there as well. It is currently on my wrist. And then in here, this little like pot that I've had forever, I'm sure like everyone had one of these Ikea pots at one time or another. Um, I have one of the um, stainless steel safety razors, which is amazing. I much prefer it to any other razor as well as it being um, zero waste and more ethical. And I also have a uh, pumice stone to scrub my feet and a dry brush to um, dry brush my body for an all over body exfoliant. What else, do I have anything else in here? Oh yeah. And then in the bottom of here I have one of these um, like stainless steel blackhead removers. And that is everything that I've got on my shelf. And then moving over to the bathroom over here, this is my corner. I have um, some body wash, some a couple of shampoos that I'm currently like at the end of both of them and I'm trying to use them up um, and this herbal hair rinse conditioner that does not work on my hair again I'm trying I'm trying so many different products for my hair this has um, soap nuts in it which doesn't work for my hair I find it just makes it really sticky and greasy and like helmety and I do not enjoy it so um, I'm trying to use it up but I'm not enjoying it. I don't know what. I don't really know what I'm going to do with that. And then a hairbrush to um, brush through hair conditioner, which I have run out of, and I've been trying to make my own. Nothing has really worked so far. I haven't really managed to find uh, like a DIY hair conditioner that works for me. Ooh, and next time I wash my hair, I'm going to need conditioner, so I am on the lookout for another one in the next couple of days. I really, I just, I really wanted to make my own and to have it work. I've tried so many and none of them are working. Um, maybe it'll be a lot easier when my hair grows out all this blonde because this is drier and more tangle prone than my natural hair. Who knows? So, lastly, under the sink I have a couple of baskets down here um, with just kind of extra bits that I'm trying to use up. So in this one I've got some talcum powder, some um, spare body wash, some toothy tabs that I had a while back. Um, I much prefer my own toothpaste, but I, I suppose this will be good for travel. I think I'll just keep this one for when I go on holiday somewhere. Um, a little sample of a body milk um, and a body oil as well. And like a mini body butter thing that I was gifted. Um, so that's what's in there. 
This one, I have some bath things. So I've got a jar of Epsom salts, which I will be keeping. I love Epsom salts for um, aches and relaxing and having better sleep. Then I've got some foaming bath, bath bubbles, um, a Sweet Dreams bath oil. These baskets are not great for keeping things st stood up. Um, a geranium and orange bath oil um, and um, a, an oil blend that my mom mixed up for me and gave to me. So that is all that I've got in the bathroom. Oh yeah, and one last thing, on the sink I use um, bath bar, like soap bars, like you know just normal soap rather than getting these ones. This is my housemates uh, because less plastic and lasts a lot longer. One last thing I forgot to mention is these couple of things hanging on the side. These also belong to me. Um, I have this, um, what are these, what are they called? Like loofah things, but it's not a loofah, it's like a, one of those like plastic ones. And also this exfoliant brush for the shower. So the deal with these, yes, I know they're bad. Um, I've had it for ages, they last forever. Um, I've been trying to go zero waste for probably about a year and I've had this for longer than that. Um, and so I'm just going to keep using it until it's used up and then throw it away because I think a key thing for going zero waste is not just to throw out all of your plastic things because that's obviously extremely wasteful and damaging to the environment. Um, so I would suggest using them until they're ready to be thrown out and just do not replace them. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so I have this loofah and this exfoliant brush. Um, for now and I will not be replacing them and I do not recommend getting them but I do have them so I am showing you because authenticity <laughs> so that is everything I have in the bathroom um, I hope you enjoyed um, if you have any questions about anything do let me know in the comments below um, yes I will be sharing some recipes for my like DIY things eventually I would like to have everything DIY so I'm currently using up the products that I already have um, and then if I feel like I need them, then I'll be making my own recipes for them. Um, like I said before though, as of now, I am just using up everything that isn't zero waste or vegan. I think everything I have is vegan because I've been vegan for like five and a half years. But, um, not everything is zero waste currently, but I'm going to be using it up and just not repurchasing them. So that is where I am right now. I thought it might be interesting for you guys to see a bathroom that is kind of in transition. It's not a completely zero waste bathroom, but I'm really trying and um, my voice is going. <laughs> and this is kind of halfway through the transition. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.